this is a Milwaukee pH controller. It's the MC122 model, and we're going to do some calibration on it today. Uh, it's new out of the box, so before we trust it to monitor the CO2 injection on the aquarium, we need to make sure that the probe is correctly reading pH properly. So they send a package of 7.01 solution and a package of 4.01 solution. And we use both of these to calibrate both the pH 4 and the pH 7. Uh, what we'll do is turn on the unit and it's going to just kind of wake up. The probe is connected. It was in a solution that I assume was somewhere around 7.0 uh, when they shipped it. So now I'm just going to open up this container and I'm basically just going to put the probe in there and set it there and let it sit for a minute. And as you can see, it was pretty well calibrated right off the bat, but uh, that gives me peace of mind. And uh, they also recommend that you calibrate these once a month. I do it about every three months or so. So that was good on the 7 reading. Let's try the 4.01 solution now. And before I do that, I'm going to rinse off the probe a little bit with some of this solution to get the 701 solution off. And now I'm going to put the probe into the packet. And that says 4.3. So this one we need to tweak down a little bit because this is supposed to be 4.0. So I'm just gonna take the uh, little screwdriver that they send and I'm gonna tweak it down ever so slightly. If I go counterclockwise, the reading goes up. If I go clockwise, the reading goes down. That's 4.1, and that's 4.0. Just for fun, I'll take some of my leftover 7.0 solution, rinse the probe off again a little bit, and put the probe back into the 7.0 solution. and get 7-0. The two main reasons that I have this pH meter is one, it's nice to be able to open the cabinet door and just get a reading on what my pH is at any given time on the aquarium. It's gonna help me track the fluctuations from day and night and from week to week just to make sure nothing's getting out of whack. The other thing it's really good for is you'll notice that I've got it set to 6.5. That's actually how they come. Uh, this will actually uh, you'll notice it's blinking because the pH is above 6.5 right now, so that means it's on. So the CO2 regulator will be plugged into this module, which is also connected to this device. And when the pH drops below 6.5, because that's where this is pointing, then it'll actually turn off the CO2 injection. So that's kind of nice because CO2 causes the pH to drop in the aquarium and I don't want it to drop below 6.5 and uh, so that's just a you know those are the two main reasons I use it so the uh, pH probe is actually installed in the tank now it's kind of yellow and unsightly and I'm not really sure why Milwaukee Instruments keeps selling yellow probes because this is pretty much a product designed for aquariums so I'm going to make a quick modification to help conceal that. Here I have a small piece of uh, Fluval FX6 tubing and a couple of suction cups that also happen to be some leftover parts from the FX6. So what I'll do is I'll just drill a couple of holes in here, install the suction cups, and then maybe drill a few more holes just to help water flow through there. And then I'll just insert the pH probe through that and then have this black tube over that mounted on the back aquarium wall, which happens to be black acrylic, so that should help hide it pretty well. Okay, so the suction cups are installed and I've got some holes drilled on both sides. Water flow should be fine through here and not only will it not impact the probe's ability to take uh, pH readings, but it'll also protect it from accidentally getting knocked into because it is kind of a sensitive instrument. So, you know, 
This should work out pretty good. Let's go see how it looks on the tank. So as you can see, the probe is now virtually invisible. If you really zoom in and look hard, you can see. And uh, that's right next to the temperature monitor for the heater. So when you back up, pretty much don't see anything pH monitor is installed and running, currently showing 7.9 on the tank. Therefore, since the controller is activated at 6.5 or above, it is currently running. So, the CO2 regulator is going at two bubbles a second. It'll be interesting to see how this pH might be dropping in the next few hours.